I just want to show you something um, fairly simple. It's really just a way of setting up this time. I'm just going over to my, uh, this is my diploma um, packet tracer network here for my diploma students. See what I've got over here. I've got a couple of routers here and I've got a DSL cloud and DSL modem. And down here, I've got the equivalent of Google and a DNS server and what have you. What I'm doing here is just giving a little bit of authenticity. It's, it's not, obviously it's not a real thing. It gives a little bit of authenticity to setting up this um, or mimicking, if you like, the connection between your edge of the network and the outside world, in this case, an, an ISP's router. To configure all this is actually really easy. And if you're also doing some things for students or you just want to um, make your network diagrams look a little bit more real or authentic, then uh, you can do it this way. It's very easy to set up. I'm going to just add a couple of, in fact, I'm going to add three routers here. And I've just chosen a 1941, so no particular reason. And I might actually just zoom in there a little bit as well. And you need to go down to the uh, WAN emulation cloud down the bottom here. And from there, you can just add a couple of modems in. Just the DSL modems. And also just a couple of the, they're called the PT Cloud um, WAN emulation clouds, if you like. Uh, they can fit into, say, here. And let's put another one over on the other side there. So we're sort of mimicking this for this part here. I'm just sort of making this a little bit more complicated than, than what this one over here is that is actually very simple. Oops, sorry about that. Just whizzing, whizzing back across there a little bit. Uh, right, let's give it a go. I'll just get all these things in order here. I like things to all be nicely and laid out nicely. Now, when I'm going to connect all these things up, I'm going to use a few different connectors here. I'm going to use the uh, this one here, which is a phone line connector. That's actually going to connect from my modem, the phone little icon there, through to the modem 4 on the cloud. You can choose. There's a couple of different ones there, if you like. And I'll do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to use straight through cables here, just normal patch cables. And I'm going to go from the Ethernet on the cloud through to uh, my router up here. And imagine this router up the top there. It could be an ISP router or something like that. And the same on this side. And then I'm going to connect down this side. I'm going to connect the modem on this side back through to the router over on this side. Uh, and that's it. We're pretty well done. The actual layout's all done, even though it looks a little bit wonky, but the layout's done. Now, all we need to do is actually do a little bit of configuration. We've got two networks here. We've got a point-to-point -point network here and another point-to-point -point network there. So we need to go into these routers. So if I go into this router on the left-hand side here, uh, go into the command line, I'm going to say, this is, I've just put that on there, so there's obviously no configuration. Uh, and then I'm going to go into config mode here, and I'm going to go into that in interface that we had there, which was um, gig zero. In fact, if you're unsure, say, okay, is it a fast ethernet or is it a gig? What you can do is you can actually do, do do show IP interface brief command, and it'll actually just show you what interfaces you've got there. So if you're a little bit unsure and you don't have to go back again, or if these were real routers and you didn't have direct connection to it, uh, you can just use that command there. In this case, I know that it's gig zero zero. And I'm going to go in there and just give it an IP address. And I'm going to keep this very simple. Uh, I'll call this dot, dot zero zero dot, I don't know, one. An entire um, class A network there. And just go no shutdown on that. 
And I'm going to leave that at that. I'm not going to do anything else on that side. And then I'm going to go over to this router and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. On that. And gig zero zero again, and I'll give this one an IP address. This will be in a completely different range, so I may pick something like that. And then I shut down command again. Uh, and that's all I'm gonna do there. If you want to do, you can actually just do a, a do right there. That that just saves that running configuration through to the non-volatile RAM. So you can see there we've got a few green lights going on here. I haven't configured this router though. So I need to, you'll notice that this one, just pull that back off again there. This one is plugged into gig, gig zero zero. So in this case, I've got two different networks here. So gig zero zero was on that 10 network. actually put IP address in front of that and no shutdown. And then on the other interface, and you can switch straight from, one, I'm in one interface mode here at the moment, but I can actually switch to the other interface straight from within that. I don't need to exit back out and go back into it again. And this one was in the 172.16 network. And no shutdown on that. That's it. I can do it. Save that if I wanted to. So I've actually configured everything up. So in theory, you'd think, okay, well, I should be able to ping from router three through to router four over here. Um, you'll find though that if I try and do that, uh, it won't. The reason being is that I haven't actually connected anything up. So even though all the lights are green and it's all looking good, I actually need to configure our cloud here. And this is really simple because the cloud is just this, this box looking thing, I guess. And then in the configuration, you notice you've got a few things down the side here. There's really, you remember I configured, I connected this onto modem four on this cloud. There's actually nothing you can do in there. Same with the ethernet, it's just got DSL. So there's no configuration in there that you, can, that you need to do at all. The only thing you need to do is go into the connections part on the side here and where it's got DSL, you wanna add modem four and connect it through to ethernet six. So to just go over that, we're connecting in the cloud here, we're connecting the modem, which was modem four over here to the ethernet on the side, which was ethernet six. And we can do exactly the same on this side as well. Modem 4 to Ethernet 6, just add. That's it, we're all done. Now you should be able to ping. I'll just delete that and I'll just create a new one here. We should now be able to ping through to here. And it will. Often that first ping will fail. If you find that failing at any stage, it's because it's just doing an ARP broadcast. So the, the first one will often fail. And we should also be able to ping from here to here. And that's fine as well. We won't be able to ping from here to here though, because we haven't got any routing set up, but I'm not gonna talk about routing at the moment. But that's how you can make it look a little bit like, you can call this, you know, your ISP over here or whatever you wanna call it. And um, you can make it look a little bit like it, uh, a, a real life connection, if you like, from maybe this is a head office over here through to a branch office over there. So you can make it look, at least remotely like it's a, it's a real external network and it all operates. The important thing to remember or to take away is that that is one network there and that's another network there. Hope that was helpful for you and thanks for watching.